Hello YouTube, my name is Brucey. You may have seen some of my videos about the Iron Man 4x4 suspension 2 inch lift. If you're interested in a deep dive on any of those, I will leave the link in the description. But this video is going to be a quick summary and final review about the product. First things first out of the way, would I recommend it? Ooh, short answer yes with an if, long answer no with a but. So what does that even mean? Well, first, I want to say absolutely travel is increased. Absolutely, unquestionably. I don't want to get too into the details here, but you will get more travel from your suspension and you will get a lift. Iron Man claims a two inch lift and simply put, I never saw that. My experience says it's more like a one and a half inch lift, which is okay. I ended up adding spacers to this lift to get the right height that I wanted. Another benefit that Iron Man claims is increased load carrying capacity, similar to the Rallytech overload springs. Uh, unfortunately, in my testing, I didn't find that at all. They they not only started out lower, but when weight was added, the suspension sagged at pretty much the same rate as the factory suspension. The website currently has a warning saying that the 3.6 motor weighs more, and therefore the suspension will sag. When I purchased it. I do not recall that warning being there. That's fine. That's part of being an early adopter. The thing is, is that's right underneath where they say that there's increased load carrying capacity. So they're saying that it can carry more weight, but not that much weight of, say, an engine that came from the factory in this vehicle. If you contact customer support about this to confirm that the springs are in working order, they'll say that they are overload coils, and when you respond back with objective data showing that they're not and the sag is the same as factory they'll just leave you on red the ride in the iron man suspension is excellent i have to give them full credit here the off-road ride and the on-road ride is very soft i mean going over speed bumps or going over potholes it doesn't shake the car or anything terrible and that translates well into off-road situations like this where the car just glides right over some pretty rocky terrain. Something else I think is worth mentioning is the Iron Man website. They're usually doing a lot of sales and I've seen the price as low as about $950 and as high as about $1,500 just depending on the time of year or what sale they're running. So make sure you're getting a good price if you buy this. If you get it at around a thousand bucks, I think it is a fantastic buy for the price because the cost of a lift plus, say, the cost of a new set of struts assemblies and springs is going to be about the same price, and it's going to be easier to swap that out. So if you, say, have a car with 100,000 miles, it probably needs new struts. So if you're going to replace those struts and lift it, at the same time, you're going to pay the same price for this Iron Man. It's going to be less work, it's going to be less labor, and it's going to be a bolt-on longer travel suspension that's going to ride better. So that's my yes-if scenario. If you want to just lift your car, it's got 100,000 miles, I think undoubtedly it's a good choice there. So that brings us to the no with the butt part. Overall, I, I'm not dissatisfied with this product. I'm satisfied and that's about the best I can say for it. I'm not giving it a glowing review here. The thing is, is the expectations that I had for it were set by Iron Man. The long travel part is true. The lift isn't. The overload isn't. The customer service is okay. They actually did give me a partial refund because I bought it right before a sale. But I've also seen people say that they didn't get that. So like I gave this warning is make sure to buy it when it's on sale because they there's mixed uh, signals there and the reviews on the website even though this product's been out for a year there's no reviews on the product that's really weird to me that they still don't have any reviews that they've managed to get and if you're not getting it on sale then I think there's probably better options in the price range of their normal price scale but I just wanted to put all my thoughts in a video I'm sorry this one took so long I just didn't feel too great about, uh, you know, having a kind of a mixed review on a product, especially since it's a Subaru aftermarket lift support product. I think at the end of the day, those sort of products should be encouraged because 
really the all the competition is going to do is make it better for all of us having having competitions and having options out there to lift a otherwise niche vehicle so i just wanted to put all my thoughts together in a video and hopefully it helps somebody make an informed decision and thanks for watching